Hi, my name is Brechtje and you are watching Estona Tutorials. And if you are watching this video, you are not currently on my subscriber feed. So you can watch a part of this video, but if you want to get the full experience, then please hop on over to Patreon and you can find me at patreon.com slash Estona underscore tutorials. I hope I'll see you there. As you can see, this ring really is bent out of shape, but don't be mistaken here because this is not a case of simply putting it on your tribulet and making it round again. Because I can already tell that this part is going to give me some problems. As you can see, the soldering seam is already starting to crack. And that straight away is the most important tip I can give you. Really look very closely, examine a piece of jewelry before you start working on it. I am going to clean this up and then we can get it fixed. And I use this ultrasonic device. It's an Elma S10H. Now I'm very happy with this one. And it's not an advertorial because I just bought it. I have this liquid to put in here. It smells a bit like ammonia, but I'm not sure what's in there. I buy it ready-made. And whenever I put some new solution in here, it's not often, only when everything is dirty. I put this one on the gas, press start, and after that my ultrasonic will be ready to use. And now I'll just drop this ring in here and press start. And now it's nice and clean. I am going to re-solder first. I'm going to use hard gold solder for this. And after soldering, I am immediately continuing with quenching it. And then I should be able to shape it into a nice round ring again. Remember with ah pop there it was it already came undone due to the heat and the tension not a problem at all so now I am going to quench this first or anneal it first and after that we'll just shape it and solder it so uh, nothing is lost we'll just continue from here I'll keep moving my flame around and as you can see it's already turning slightly red. I can see it collapsing a bit because I am removing the tension and by moving my flame around I can actually see what is happening. And I think this is good to go. I'll drop it in the metal.